Yes, hello, you guys. You're not gonna believe who I have the great honor to be standing next to. These are two of the icons of daytime. Yes, you're right about that. Erica Slezak and Susan Flannery. How many of these statues do you own? Oh, I have Missy. Six. Six? Ah! Susan, how many will it make if you win tonight? Uh, well, I have four. Oh, God. I mean, only five. four? Gee. I'm, I'm still coming around the last turn on the, on the furloughs. She's way ahead. You guys really run the world of daytime and always have. You well, really that's do. That's very sweet. But you know what? We, I do it because I love it. I don't oh, do, do it for any other reason than you do too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Because it's, it's nice to, to work with great people. It is. That's is all. it still exciting to be nominated? Oh, of course it is. Oh. Are you nervous? No. No. No, not at all. Good for you. We had lunch yesterday. We had our ladies' lunch. You had the ladies' and lunch. Had to come. She yes. had to fly or I be. You had to pay. Had to pay. Had to pay. Last year. Oh, last year we had year? the lunch that's at that's the water club, and she went and and snuck behind everybody's back and paid the bill. And when we uh, complained, she said, "Well, it doesn't matter. Whoever wins tomorrow night can pay next year." So it's been on my head the whole for a year. She sent me a note last week. She said. Don't you have a check to pick up? Oh, I love that. Oh, no, it was terrific. <laughs> so we had lunch, and I was actually, I was just going to pay for the lunch, but I was actually invited, so oh, I got to sit. Excellent. It was Excellent. terrific. We had Bobby Eakes, we had uh, Beth Ellers, and, um, and Kim, and uh, uh, Kelly couldn't come because she was rehearsing. Yeah. We were very disappointed that Kelly couldn't come. Well, we laughed a lot, and went, once again, we're the loudest people in the rest. Of course you are. You're both brawlers. Yes. Get off the stage. Oh, okay. They think you're elegant. I know different. Let's meet our next outstanding lead actress nominee. For nearly 20 years, you've known her as the bold and the beautiful's Stephanie Forster. Susan Flannery has some very specific thoughts on the strong-willed matriarch of the Forrester fashion dynasty. Come on to my house, my house, come on. Follow me. 1987. That's me with blonde hair. You have a very beautiful home. Thank you. My, how things have changed. <laughs> Stephanie, you know, is the tentpole character. Oh, oh, believe me, I am. She weaves in and out of all the stories. And here is the proof. And as you can see, we have all these beautiful evening purses. One of the rules I made was, Stephanie never carries a purse. She's rich. She doesn't need any money. She's tough, strong, but very loving. It's fun, you know. It's exciting. It's, it's acting. It doesn't have to be real. It just has to look real. Susan, you're certainly no stranger to the daytime. Mwah. The daytime Emmy. That was very nice. Thank well, you very honey, much. Didn't we do Hope and Faith together? We sure did. And I consider myself very lucky for that. Well, I do too. And you, you have four Emmys already and counting. And But weren't you also nominated for a pro for a primetime Emmy and also awards yes. for your work as a director? That's yes. incredible. Yes, yes. I'm thrilled by that. Thank you very much for mentioning it. And I wish you good luck tonight. Thanks. Thank you. It was great to see you. Okay.